Today we're going to read aloud Milk from Cow to Cartons by Aliki. In the warm spring and summer, cows graze high in the mountains. They graze in valleys, in fields, and in meadows. They eat and eat in good green pastures. Nearby, a farmer and his helpers cut grass. They dry it in the sun. They are making hay for the cold days ahead. In winter, a cow stays in the barn, snug and warm. She eats the hay. Good summer grass and good winter hay are healthy food for a cow. The better a cow eats, the better milk she will give. When a cow eats, she tears the grass off with her tongue and teeth. She swallows her food quickly. She does not chew it well. The food is stored in the first or second of her four stomachs. That's right, a cow has four stomachs. Later, when a cow has finished eating, she lies quietly and chews her food again. She brings up, brings up bits of unchewed food or cud from her stomach. She chews her cud properly, a little at a time. It looks as if she's chewing gum. Then she swallows it again. After a cow swallows all her cud, Stomachs number three and four digest the food even better. Then part of the food is made into milk. The rest is nourishment for the cow. A cow's four stomachs are one, rumen, two, reticulum, three, amossum, and the other third and fourth is abomossum. Unchewed food goes into stomachs one and two. Then the unchewed food or cud is brought back up to be chewed again. Well chewed food goes into stomachs three and four and then part of the food is made into milk. <clears throat> a cow begins to make milk when she has a calf. The milk is food for the newborn calf. A cow has milk even after her calf needs it. Once the calf starts eating grass, the cow's milk can become food for us. Cows produce lots of milk. A healthy, contented cow can give 30 quarts a day. Last summer, my brother and I visited a farm high up in the mountains. The dark, damp barn smelled of straw and cows. It smelled so much that I had to hold my nose. Then I got used to the smell and I liked it. It was milking time. A cow is milked twice a day, early morning and late afternoon. We like to watch. <clears throat> Milk is made and stored in the cow's udder. The udder is a bag with four teats. By milking time, the udder is full. When a teat is squeezed, milk flows out. The farmer washes the cow's teats, then he squeezed them. He squirted some milk into a cup, and we tasted a sip. The raw milk was warm and good. Then we watched the farmer milk his cows. He kept a record of how much milk each one gave. Some farmers with many cows use a machine to milk faster. A milking machine has four cups that fit onto the cow's teats. The milk is pumped through tubes into a covered pail. Milking never hurts a cow. She feels comfortable afterward. Raw milk from the cows is stored in a refrigerated tank. Every day that milk is pumped into a big refrigerated tanker and taken to the dairy. Mmm, it smells nice and fresh. A dairy is where the raw milk is processed. In a dairy, there are big tanks to store the milk. There are pipes for the milk to flow through. There are machines to, 
homogenize and pasteurize the milk, and machines to put it into bottles and cartons. A dairy is a very clean place. The floors and the walls are spotless. The pipes, tanks, and machines are washed inside and out every night. You never have to hold your nose in a dairy. This is how the milk is processed. It goes from the tank through the raw milk and then you can see where it goes through all of these different pipes and through the different machines to come out as milk which is then put in boxes and cartons. When the milk is brought to the dairy, a sample is tasted immediately. In the laboratory, the milk is checked for freshness. It is checked for butterfat. Butterfat is the cream that rises to the top of the milk if it is left to stand. The creamier the milk, the more a farmer is paid for it. If the milk passes inspection, the processing begins. Most of the milk is homogenized in a machine. Homogenized means made the same all the way through. The butter fat is broken up into tiny bits. It is mixed into the rest of the milk. Then the butter fat no longer rises to the top of the milk as cream. This little disc is in the homogenizer. Milk is forced through the tiny holes to break up the butter fat. Butter fat. <clears throat> Homogenized whole milk is rich and creamy. Some people think it is too creamy. They can drink milk processed in other ways. Skimmed milk has all the cream taken out. Other milks have only some of the cream taken out. The cream is then packaged separately. Skim milk will make me skim, I mean slim. Cream will make me butter fat, I mean plump. Either one will make me lappy, I mean happy. After it has been homogenized, the milk is pasteurized to kill any bad germs. The milk is heated quickly until it almost boils. Then it quickly is cooled again. Pasteurization was invented by Louis Pasteur. Milk is heated and cooled down as it flows through the pasteurizer. Louis Pasteur was born in 1822 and died in 1895. He was a French scientist who became famous when he found a way to rid the milk of dangerous germs. After milk has been processed, it is poured into bottles and cartons. Each is labeled with the kind of milk inside. What kind do you drink? Mine says pasteurized skimmed milk. Mine says vitamin D homogenized pasteurized milk. 400 units of vitamin D has been added. I drink pasteurized, homogenized, fortified, low-fat milk. 2% butterfat, non-fat solids added by the gallon. There are other products that are made from milk in a dairy too. Milk and dairy products contain protein, vitamins, and minerals such as calcium that gives you energy and makes you strong. Some of the other products made from milk in a dairy are buttermilk, sour cream, cottage cheese, butter, cream cheese, cheese, yogurt, chocolate milk, and of course my favorite, ice cream. Most of the milk we drink comes from cows, but all mammals give milk. In some countries where there aren't very many cows, people drink the milk of goats and sheep. Farmers can make cheese from these milk too. First, I boil the milk, then I add the rennet, a substance that curdles the milk. Then the milk separates into curds and whey, and the curds are like cottage tree, cottage cheese. I drink the whey. I put the curds in a clothed cloth bag and hang it up to drain. We can eat the new cheese tonight. I can't wait. I put the other bag of cheese in brine, very salty water. The salt will keep it fresh, fresh as it ages and hardens. I baked just in time, and we can eat it next month if we can wait. You can be a dairy farmer right in your kitchen and make your own butter. 
You can make butter by hand or in an electric mixer. You pour a pint of heavy cream into a bowl and you beat it hard. I'll help. I'll lick. First, it'll turn into a thick whipped cream. You keep beating or stirring and it will change again. The whipped cream will separate into butter, flat, butter fat and a liquid called whey. Pour out the whey and you have butter. Little Miss Muffet sat on Tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Me too. Get it fresh from the farmer. Mmm. It's odd. I know. Milk comes from cows and other animals that eat grass. But grass is green and milk is white. I wonder how this happens. Don't you? I wonder. The End what did you learn about milk?